Hello folks and welcome back to my channel. Today's video was actually suggested by one of my followers and they messaged me saying that they've been really interested in getting piercings done but their family has been really unsupportive. And the reason why is that their family keeps saying, well, piercings are for dirty people. Why would you want to get piercings? People are going to think that you're dirty. People are going to think that you're gross. Piercings are so dirty. Why would you want that? And y'all, I'm going to be honest, in the year of our Lord 2024, I was shocked to hear that people still have this mentality. Um, maybe it's just because I have been isolated in my magical little bubble of working in body piercing, but I really thought we had like conquered that mentality. <laughs> um, I remember first really getting into piercing in like middle and high school and this was still a pretty prevalent mentality back then, especially when it comes to like stretched ears or large gauge piercings. A lot of people assumed that, you know, people were gross. There was always jokes and memes about like the ear smell with stretched ears. Um, and there was a big mental, and there was a big mentality that, you know, piercings were like dirty or unclean or gross or things like that. But I feel like we have spent so long as an industry really educating and pointing out how much cleaning and how much self-care and bodily care go into having piercings and having piercings successfully. Um, and we've spent a lot of time educating people about how important cleaning and hygiene is for piercing aftercare that I, I guess I very mistakenly thought we had you know, change some of those opinions in the world and people realize that you actually have to be uh, very, very clean to have body piercings um, and that you need to clean your piercings often and for a very prolonged period of time. Um, but I, I guess we haven't conquered that as well as I thought, which is wild to me with, with most piercings taking anywhere from six to nine months, sometimes a year or longer to fully heal and needing to be cleaned just about every single day during that healing process. Like piercings are quite labor intensive when it comes to the cleaning. Some piercings are incredibly labor intensive when it comes to the cleaning and care. And not only that, but because they require so much work, piercings can often be a motivator for hygiene for some clients. I cannot tell you how many clients I have who do struggle with personal hygiene, usually due to mental health issues. Uh, struggles with personal hygiene are very commonly go hand in hand with mental health struggles. And when you are very depressed or dealing with different mental health things, it can be hard to be motivated to keep yourself clean or take care of yourself a lot of my clients will opt to get a piercing because while it's hard to be motivated, because while it's hard to be motivated to keep themselves clean, they will be motivated to keep their piercings clean. And I cannot tell you how many people I have seen, again, like struggling with mental health and struggling with personal hygiene, get a body piercing and start taking care of themselves better because they want to take care of their piercing. I have had clients tell me that they have been able to develop a consistent toothbrushing routine because they wanted to be able to get oral piercings. I have had clients tell me that their ear piercing starting to get irritated from not showering or not cleaning themselves often was the motivator to get them back on track with personal hygiene and showering and keeping themselves clean. I have had more people than I can count tell me that even at their lowest, when they could not take care of themselves, they still found the time to clean their piercing because they did want to take care of their piercing. The amount of clients who tell me they've developed just general new hygiene and personal care routines from having piercings. I have clients all the time who tell me that they've never cleaned their ears more thoroughly or had cleaner and happier feeling ears than since they got their first couple of ear piercings. Like the amount of clients who come back in and go, yeah, you know, like I used to just give my ears like a quick Q-tip, whatever, after the shower. But now that I have piercings, I am cleaning and detailing and like scrubbing my ears so much better. Clients who have developed full skincare routines um, as a side effect of healing facial piercings going, like, man, like I was looking at my piercing in the mirror all the time and I noticed these things that I wasn't as happy with about my skin. I've started maintaining a skincare routine because I really want to show off my piercing in the best way possible. And so I want to have nice skin to show it off with. Clients who have developed better sleep habits over having body piercings. The amount of clients who have told me that they, their doctors have told them they really should try like sleeping on their back or sleeping in a certain way and they just never have. 
until they were healing an ear piercing they couldn't lay on and they were like, my sleep habits are so much better now because I'm literally sleeping differently in order to take care of this piercing because this piercing is important to me and I want it to heal well. Uh, and it's literally important enough to me that I've changed how I sleep. Piercings can be such a powerful motivator for people to develop better self-care routines and better self-hygiene routines. And again, as a baseline, piercings require quite a bit of hygiene. Like when I think about things like my industrial piercing, my industrial took a year and a half to fully heal and it was very crusty during the time that it was healing, which is a normal side effect of healing piercings. Um, I think that might be where some people get the idea that piercings are dirty because they produce this crust and secretion during the healing process. Um, but that's actually our body doing what it's supposed to do. Again, a piercing is a healing wound with a foreign object trapped in it and the body doesn't want that foreign object there. So it's gonna do what it can to try and push it out. And part of that is producing fluid and secretion, trying to push this object out of the body. So that crust that we get on our piercings isn't necessarily us being dirty, it's our bodies trying to heal this type of wound the way they're designed to. Um, but my industrial, again, like year and a half healer, quite crusty the whole time, that's normal for industrials. I was waking up, cleaning it first thing in the morning, going about my day, going to school, going to work, coming home, cleaning it at night, doing a warm compress for it at night. In the shower, I was taking extra time to let the shower water run over it and really clean it. I was very on top of like maintaining my hair around my industrial to make sure that things stayed really clean. As someone who wears glasses, I was cleaning down the arms of my glasses with alcohol wipes like every other day, wanting to make sure that I didn't get any bacteria or germs or debris from my glasses onto my industrial. I was so much more careful with like hairspray and hair care products and like skincare and makeup because I didn't want it to get into my industrial. Like I had the cleanest ears of my entire life <laughs> from age like, 19 to 21 when I was healing my industrial piercing and just very diligently cleaning it, caring for it, maintaining it. I probably took like hundreds of extra showers just because I like went outside or went camping or did something that I didn't inherently feel dirty enough to shower from, but I wanted to rinse off my industrial and that was like the easiest way for me to do it. Sometimes I would have already showered and been clean, but been like, oh, my industrial feels a little crusty. I want another rinse. I'm taking a second shower two hours later to get my industrial rinsed off really good. Like piercings require a very high level of cleanliness in order to heal well. In fact, as a professional piercer, one of the big struggles I have with some clients are clients who work in dirtier jobs. I have had clients who work as miners, uh, and on oil rigs and in really scary construction sites who struggle to heal their piercings because of the dirt and the debris that they're exposed to at work. So if you see someone with good, healthy, happy, well-healed piercings, that is a clean person. That is a hygienic person. That is someone who put a lot of work into cleaning and caring for and healing these piercings. Uh, I would say that most folks who have a lot of piercings and particularly bigger piercings like stretched ears and stretched septums, which I feel like most notoriously get a bad rep for being dirty, uh, those are some of the cleanest people you're gonna meet because they have to be fastidiously clean to keep these piercings healthy and happy and the way that they have them. So it bums me out that in 2024, people still have this mentality that piercings are for dirty people. Uh, and that is just so abundantly not the case. Piercings require so much personal hygiene to have healthy and piercings are actually an incredibly powerful personal hygiene motivator. Uh, and they can be such a good tool to help people build better self-care and better self-hygiene habits. So next time someone tries to tell you that they think you're dirty for having body piercings, feel free to remind them that you probably clean parts of your body that they've never even considered deep cleaning with the same level of care and attention. Uh, and take solace in knowing that those of us with piercings, especially with a lot of piercings, are doing far more cleaning and personal hygiene than I would say your average person is with some of those body parts. All right, folks, thanks for hanging out and letting me chat, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.